Thanks for joining us in this call as we talk about the ripple effects of time. Now, my name's Tino Beth. I'm not sure if um, how long you've been following me on Instagram or anything like that, but essentially this, this, this current time we're in, <laughs> let's talk about time. This current time we're in is challenging us all. It's, it's there to actually create change and change is coming real quick. Great, it's great to have you here. And, um, and really the big difference, the thing I can't stress the most is the, the biggest difference during this time of change that you can have on your reality is your perspective, is really where your perspective is, where your mindset is, where your awareness is. Because that awareness, you can actually transform your life dr so dramatically um, or, you know, and actually change your timeline, go on a different timeline just by changing your awareness and changing your thoughts, changing your actions. So this is like, this is a massive pivotal time to be alive. And now's really the time. Like there is no, there's no more getting ready. <laughs> there's no more getting ready for change to come. It's here. Now's the time to start doing it and being that. And, um, and really following through with, with whatever it is that you're actually called to do, because at the end of the day, you're the ultimate authority of your life. And by taking that responsibility and taking the power back into yourself and making those choices in your life, you're actually going to transform your life in miraculous ways. You cannot even uh, begin to understand how it's going to like transpire through time into the future because literally like you know taking different actions making different conscious decisions here and now is going to change your timeline <laughs> massively so and especially considering that we are in this state of the world the state of turmoil the state of this digital age coming to wash over everybody and really like giving us a new layer a new layer of value over this thing called the internet um, that that's massive, it's so massive. Um, I, I can't stress how massive that is and, and how, how radically transformative that action that's happening in your environment, how it's going to affect your life, how it's going to affect the lives of the people around you. It's going to affect how you go to your job, how you relate to money, how you, you know, um, relate to your friends, how you socialize. It's already happening. It's already here. I don't know if I can stress this enough. So let's dive in to the feedback loop and let's try and understand how we can utilize this, this most powerful tool called your awareness, this most powerful tool called you being able to carve out and, and create new timelines, create new trajectories, and actually to design that and to steer your ship in the light direction. So um, this really is like the culmination of, of my journey in a way because I started experimenting with these kind of concepts a long time ago um, back in 2003 I crashed my car and that's really like this first experiment that I did in terms of you know um, initiating my own cognitive reset and that was really because I was in a troubled place I was addicted to drugs and alcohol I was 18 years old and I really was looking for not an out. I wasn't looking for an out. I was looking for an opportunity to begin again, to start my life again. And I did that. I had this, you know, like I went down the highway and I smashed into the back of a semi-trailer in a moment of illumination after I was like, how do I change my life? Like, how do I radically change it? And this is not something I preach. This is not something I teach or recommend people do. It's just my story. Um, but essentially, I, I smashed into the back of a semi-trailer. It was parked on the side of the road at about 100 k's an hour. And, you know, and then in the blink of an eye, I was in that, the outer body white light realm of, you know, infinite possibilities. That's like the bridge between life and death. And, you know, and in that state, I had this whole life revision, you know, revisiting my life and learning about, you know, my life that I just lived so that I could then course correct and navigate the next life the next adventure and that really 
you know, made me think about this life that I had been living. It made me, you know, reflect on that life. And, you know, and at the time I was like, I hadn't really lived at all. I haven't done anything. Uh, so what do I want to do? And that's my question to you. What do you want to do with your life? Considering the, the lid is wide open of this cookie jar called planet Earth and your possibilities and, you know, you tapping into your potential. What do you want to do? Because <laughs> there's, no, there's no limitations. The only limitations are the ones that are in here you know, in your heart, in your mind, those are the only limitations that you have. So, you know, me in this outer body state of awareness, I, I was like, well, you know, money and fame, and that's all r- regard, ridiculous at this point in time. What I really want to know is, um, and why I really want to go back down to earth and, and, you know, and fix myself and go on the journey of discovering you know, the next thing, what I really want to know is like, what are the highest forms of knowledge, understanding and wisdom that are known to mankind? Like, I want to learn about like philosophy and, and, you know, really like be on the pinnacle of insight into the reality, into the nature of our time, into the, you know, into the, the nature of why we're here, what we're doing, what's the meaning of life. That was 10 years ago. No, that was like 2003, nearly 20 years ago. Um, and then, you know, I began a big journey, 10-year hero's journey. So this concept of the hero's journey, we're going to talk a lot about that because it's a mythological fundamental that has pervaded societies um, throughout time. And, um, and, and, then <laughs> and, and, and it's really useful as a transformational tool for us to be able to utilize a transformational tool that we can know, that we can come to um, recognize the patterns and also that can help us to navigate times in the unknown, times of change and turmoil because it's a, it is a looping tool. It is represented by a circle, but you know, essentially it's a transformative looping tool so, you know, it's not like you're looping around in the same fashion. You're actually transforming yourself. You're having, you know, an information transformation as a result of going on this hero's journey. But we'll dive into that a little bit more. But essentially, like that 10 years hero's journey of discovering what these lost tools of learning are, what this philosophical, con- you know, constant is in the background um, really led me to wanting to test out my skills. <laughs> test out my ability to navigate reality now mind you i just come off the back of um you know so so i want you to like you know take the lid off what you think you're possible of i came off the back of cleaning nightclubs for a living and researching the new world order and you know and what we're seeing here in the great research like researching the history of all this, what's coming to play, because that was an, an interesting time, like 2008 to 2012. It was an interesting time where there was this 2012 um, calamity on the, on, the, you know, on the horizon. But it was also, you know, we've just come off the um, 9-11, 2001 sort of plane crash scenario. So it was like these, these red flags are in my periphery. And I was like, man, I need to figure out this ecosystem because no one else is <laughs> and it's so important to be able to have an accurate picture an accurate map of what what the environment looks like so that you can actually navigate you know because if you don't have an accurate map you're gonna like fall into like shadowy gray areas on the map and you're gonna have to and you, you probably get lost and that's really that's really where the mainstream is at the moment they're lost in the wastelands of society lost in the wastelands of awareness and the wastelands of awareness are really you know the this you know this this mind controlled propagandized version of reality that it doesn't exist except as a figment of imagination that's created to maintain a, a seemingly cis organized you know, status quo, an organized world 
um, you know, to really like lead people down a rabbit hole um, that's not in their best interests. And that's where I'm going to leave that because <laughs> it's, um, it's really mind control. It's really like taking one's ability to think for themselves and to have that freedom of thought. And it's, and it's cutting it off. It's eliminating a person's ability to actually think freely, to actually create their own life, to actually consider anything outside of a boxed mind. And that's really like one of these things is about boxing in the mind keeping it contained you know and your subconscious is a really powerful part it's a really powerful mechanism because you know if you're taking in information repeatedly mainstream news information and they're repeating their lies over and over and over again and this is sort of like how the ripple of time how the ripple of propaganda affects you on the subconscious level because the more that you're exposed to it um, the more you start to believe that stuff, the more it starts to seep into the subconscious awareness of, of your environment. And really, and that's really when your, your critical thinking faculties aren't online. They're not switched on and you're taking these things for granted. And you're just, you're not even like considering these parts because you've actually subconsciously identified with the narrative that's being told. So that creates a ripple effect in your timeline because your timeline then is steered away from your control, away from your um, ability to now, you know, to to actually steer. It's taken away, and it's and it's done for you. It's said, "Hey, look, you're not responsible enough. You're not capable enough. You're du- You're not smart enough. You are too dumb to do this for yourself. So we're going to do it for you, and we're going to really just like bring out this propaganda machine and." you know, obviously they're not saying any of this and obviously they haven't like brought out a propaganda machine. It's just been omnipresent and it's just gradually getting worse and worse and worse, you know, like more and more obvious um, on some level. So it's like (laughs) that, that, you know, so you, and then that effect creates, you know, a timeline where you're not in control, you're following a herd of people and you don't know that there's another herd because they're part of your people. That's your community, you know, and you vibe with them. <laughs> so you find comfort and relief about complaining about shit like they do. And, and that's really like where I see a lot of, a lot of um, you know, a lot of my local community, um, local Facebook community and whatnot. That's where they are. They're really like being dragged into, you know, a lot of these narratives, even if they are sort of counter fringe, um, mind control propaganda narratives, but they're still like, you know, new earth and, and sort of spiritual, but they're, they're still sort of like traveling along the same lines. And it's a, it's a fine line really, to be honest, but you know, it's, it's really important. What I'm trying to stress here is, is the fact that the, the, the information you take in, um, the inputs you put into your mind, into your conscious awareness, the stuff that you read, the stuff that you listen to, you know, the people you talk to, the people you hang out with, the world you exist in influences you subconsciously, changes your trajectory in life. You go that way, you go that way, you go that way, you go that way. And, you know, all those things represent different evolutions, different paths, different expressions of you. And, um, and essentially, where you want to be the most powerful place to be in this new world in this awakening that we're going through is being able to be the actual controller the actual um director of where you're going so that you can then you know have that control and execute your will upon your life upon where you're going so it's like so fundamental so important i don't know why people don't get it but let's keep going because I don't want to go on that rant <laughs> so um essentially like that's where i was and i was like I-, I need to test out these skills test out these skills of knowledge understanding and wisdom test out this ability to learn any subject for myself and navigate a new foreign world so i bought a boat i lost my cleaning jobs and i and i really like had needed a break from researching and studying you know um 
you know, the, the, the moving forces, the propaganda, the globalization of the human mind um, to create a hive mind, essentially. And that's what I'm alluding to here is um, I needed a break from all that. And so I bought a boat, moved on to this boat here. And, and then I started learning about this boat and I started to unpack, you know, what all these bits of this boat do, you know, and figure out if it works, if it doesn't work. And I, you know, you know, like um, utilize this three-step method of like input processing and output or grammar, logic, and rhetoric. And, and that three-step method helped me to, you know, master my reality, this boat, you know, and then master the sailing reality the world you know navigation weather um, mother nature and that was really my test my test from you know discovering what these lost tools of learning are and then to actually then embody them and then to make them subconscious because that's really important so that you're not having to actually refer to a manual all the time to you know to navigate your world but to make it subconscious so that it just is automatically a part of the system the filter, the lens that you're using to navigate your reality. And that's, you know, and then that's led me on this great hero's journey of sailing, of going on this adventure. Um, and it was amazing. And it was a classic sort of hero's journey in and of itself. Um, you know, and, and really like that was a period of time and it's where we are right now in this period of time was, me going on that adventure, me going saying yes to selling my stuff, moving shit into storage, breaking up with my girlfriend, and going on a one-way ticket to a boat that I never, you know, that I'd never sailed before, that I knew nothing about. It was really like this crossroads, and that's where we are right now. We're at this crossroads here, and one of those paths is really just like more death and destruction, more of the known safety because there's lots more people there but as we can see in this image the safety doesn't really equate to safety it's safety in your mind because you're like i'm i'm if i'm if i have that herd mentality it's going to be safer for me to be with all the people <laughs> but if they're getting massacred and um, poisoned from the inside out with these vaccines and stuff like that then it's um it's going to be a terrible disaster that will be chalked up in human history as some kind of terrible disaster that pre um, preluded the great awakening of um a, a new digital layer a new um governance of the planet and ai and you know technology and stuff like that so you know it, these narratives are going to spin and these narratives are going to be utilized to, to really um, control the survivors, the, the, you know, the, the herds of the survivors that really remain after this sort of this period of time we're in. You know, let's face it, it's, um, it's, it's all orchestrated and there is a mass campaign out there to depopulate the earth and we are in the middle of that right now. So beware. Beware of what you're choosing to put into your body, whether it's information, because even more so now than ever, the inputs that you take in, this in, is information, is a form of information, a swab that you get up your nose to test if you've got something. That's information. There is like some high technology going into your body when you're doing that, and that can be considered, could be considered its own type of vaccination. So just be aware of what you're taking into your body because it has a great important effect in your, you know, in the different timelines that you can choose. And right now, you know, trying to steer that free mind path, that path where your awareness is really the controlling force of you maintaining, you know, a steady ship and creating a new direction, a new path in your life. And um, and that's really the beginning. I'm just going to look at these comments here. I'm just going to make it work. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's really like the beginning of the hero's journey. Welcome to the journey. This is the beginning. Soon, the time to, be, to decide if you're going to go to work or not, because they might stress out to you that some sort of um, random 
junk information into your body that you don't want to. So that may be on the cards for you. And, um, and that will initiate the beginning of this, of this hero's journey that we're all on. Now there's normally little dots here with more information, but we don't really need to go into that. Essentially, this is like the known world where everyone exists. And this is the known world of propaganda and mind control. And people are really suffering because they're not really taking their own hero's journey into their own, own hands, creating their own transformation from within. And people watch movies. People watch movies and get the hero's journey fixed by watching the heroes on the screen do the transformation for them. <laughs> so just know that if you're a big movie watcher, maybe it's time to like, you know, shut that down and to initiate something that's within you because it's within you. It's living within you. It resonates with that hero's journey. That's what it does. And it's done over time. And, um, and that's what's calling out. It's calling that within you out to come out. So, and, and eventually you'll come to the point where you're like on the edge, like I was when I was about to buy the boat and move on to it and do all that. And you'll be on the edge and you'll be finding yourself at this point of no return, this, this threshold. And, and really, you know, or you'll be at work and you'll find yourself where they're like, you have to get injected with a thing. And, and are you going to get injected? And, and there's, there's a point of no return. Once you get injected, you can't get that shit out of you. It's like nanotech. It's like RNA, you know, modifications in your, in, of your genome. So it's like, that's really bad for the, on, a, on a ripple of time sort of scale, really bad. <laughs> because you can't undo that um that genetic manipulation that those things are going to take the that they're going to do to you so you know um and then you'll begin a, a hero's journey in an unknown world you know for better or for worse you know on the light spectrum or on the dark spectrum essentially you have to complete the cycle and if we look at the hero's journey being the whole cycle of your life from birth until death you know, one will help you to complete that journey quicker than another, maybe, you know, like you can, your free will gets to decide which journeys to take and, you know, how quickly you conclude, you know, your life journey, essentially. And that's really this lesson I learned from crashing my car into a truck. It's like, you can choose to, you know, um, complete your hero's journey quickly, or you can choose to extend it for as long as you want. But it's all about the conscious awareness that you take with you at the end of the day. It's got nothing. There's no, no real attack. You can't take money with you. You can't take your relationships with you. You can't take um, your stuff that you own around you with you. Uh, so it's all about your conscious awareness. It's all about what lessons have you learned. It's all about, uh, you know, like what insights can you take from this into the next journey that can help you to navigate the next journey better, do it better, do it, you know, in a more conscious way, you know, or whatever path you choose to take. It's like, it's really, that's really the, you know, that, that's really the big picture um, of this spiritual experience called life. And, you know, us creating this, well, us participating in this reality, which is like a, you know, its own metaverse for consciousness, <laughs> um, you know, its own simulation, if, if you will, and it definitely is a simulation if you consider the known world is all really simulated and controlled and orchestrated. But the unknown world, the hero's journey that comes from within, now that's what makes it real for you. That's when you start to participate with the simulation. When you start to code into the simulation your own desires, your own wishes, your own dreams, your own um, you know, vision of reality. And that's really the power of your mind coming into the knowledge of your ability to steer your own ship, especially during these crazy times. So essentially like how this whole thing works um, is, and, and how this quantum feedback, you know, um, system works that I, I've been talking about for a while now is, is really come to terms on this bigger picture scale that your life has four seasons. Now, when we are born, we sort of, we're born into light from the darkness of the placenta of, you know, this birth canal sort of thing. And we're born into the light. And then we begin this journey, you know, essentially into the four seasons of our life, into this, this journey of life until death. And, you know, and then we have this expansion 
and this contraction phase. So, you know, while we're in spring and summer, we're expanding. And then we start to contract autumn, winter into back into awareness, back into source, back into, you know, the next journey. You know, this is on a big lifetime sort of time frame here. So this expansion phase is, you know, is, is um, this expansion and contraction sort of phase is a really a useful insight into being able to realize that well these are the cycles of this is an aspect or a representation of the cycles of nature within ourselves within our lifetimes so that we can then model that and and really sort of be in coherence with you know these natural cycles so that we're not creating more disturbance in the force because the bigger cycle of the planet is really dictating a lot of these um, these dynamics into you know the fractals of of you know of consciousness that reside on the planet so that being us um, so it's really important to be able to know that and then to if you find yourself that you, you know in trouble whatever that is to be able to come back to source and come back to coherence with the cycles and and with you know and, and being able to you know find that connection again with nature and that's really important because a lot of people, you know, in the wastelands of society are losing connection. And the more that they lose connection, the more they get wasted in the wastelands of society. So, um, yeah, find that connection within yourself and, and, and within nature, within your reality, because that's really important on the awareness, on the growth of your awareness level as we transition through time you know and as we create these trajectories and um and really carve different paths into the future so what i decoded was actually a crop circle after the sailing trip i did i was sitting there i was thinking well what's the actual purpose of life what am i supposed to do next you know i'm not going to go and get a job like all these other suckers out there so what am i going to do next i'm going to try and solve a problem and that problem was like how do I code karma into a video game? Because at the time I was trying to create a video game that was based upon this reality, like, a, like essentially that metaverse of, of what we've just been talking about here. And, um, and, and, and I wanted to make that as real as possible, make that in, in alignment with natural law as, as real as possible. So essentially discover, um, I didn't discover, I went to work to figure out how to code karma into a video game. And then synchronistically got sent this picture of a crop circle and I didn't, I didn't request it or anything. And then from this picture, I was like, wow, I can actually make sense of this utilizing the hero's journey and utilizing this flow dynamic of going on, a, on an adventure. And, and if we overlay like a signal, a thought signal, an action, a, you know, emotional, um, you know, heart resonance. If you use those as signals, those are signals into the field, into this concept of the quantum field. Now, these signals then um, that we emanate, we're constantly emanating. They're constantly sending. You know, they're constantly interacting with the quantum field, and that quantum field needs to be updated. It needs to be. Um, well, it is constantly updated as a result of the signals of thoughts and feelings you're sending into the field it ripples into the three other seasons of your life that you're not currently in. So it's actually priming the future reality for you as you're doing it. So that, you know, the ripple of you going to work today or not going to work today really like um, affects you next month when you don't get paid. And it affects you next month when, you're off on something else and you actually got a way better job or you started your business and blah, blah, blah. You're doing that. So it actually affects you. And then if you magnify that through time, like four, five, 10 years, 40 years in the future, where you're in a different season of your life, you're on a completely different spectrum, a completely different path where you exited the wastelands of society. And now you're on the path of your own enlightenment and your own, you know, you're doing your own thing. So and that's really like the power of the awareness, the power of you being able to, you know, create your journey through this great circle of life, because everything is just a feedback loop trying to teach you more about yourself 
And as a result, you have to learn about yourself and you have to grow so that you can determine what information you want to start to send into the into the into this feedback loop into this into the quantum field because the, the type of information you feed into it really is is going to reflect it's going to feed back upon you and you know and and then that'll you know essentially be creating a world for you so <laughs> that's really like this is like where we go into the deep end we we actually have an, a, a community group at the moment it's called the um you know the great awakening reset is kind of like me going x-rated but you know where we talk about the reality we talk about the real stuff and you know i want to invite you into that uh because it gives us more time to flesh out the stuff it gives us more time to work on these things and to explore and it gives you a new environment gives you a new community to really understand um you know and, and to really like feed in to your subconscious, these concepts, this the power of your ability to navigate and to create change over time. Nothing like kind of happens in an instant, but as you do the work, it all kind of gets to a point until it does happen in an instant. And it does kind of all just, you know, quickly shift and it quickly just transforms everything about your reality so that's really exciting to um to to do you know that's really what life's all about so and that's what we go into deeper and deeper um in that community it's like a ten dollar a month kind of subscription thing and it's really just there to like weed out the you know people that aren't committed people that aren't prepared to spend the time people that aren't prepared to you know invest in themselves you know, because there's a lot of people out there that just want to copy paste and, you know, and, and go on doing copy pasting everywhere and doesn't really equate to change, doesn't equate to personal transformation. And, you know, and, and we really need to have a, um, you know, part of this whole journey is, is finding people that resonate on the same wavelength and the same understanding of what's going on out there. And, and you know, hopefully have someone there to guide you as well, because otherwise, you know, you feel all alone and you feel like there's no one that's got your back and it makes it more difficult to face the changes that are coming and it makes it more difficult to stay focused on what's the goal at the end of the day. What's the prize? Like where you, where do you want to be putting your time and attention, your focus, because you can quick, you know, it, it, if you hang around with the wrong circles, it's going to influence the subconscious and it's going to obviously influence your conscious mind and it's going to create a chemical effect in your body and that's going to cause you to make decisions that will have a ripple effect on your life. <laughs> better or worse. <laughs> so that's why we create this community to really have a better effect, you know, and, and really identify reality in the clearest possible way so we've got a more clear roadmap so that we can navigate the storm that's coming. Um, and that's really, you know, I think part of my mission, part of my drive is, is to do that. And, um, and that's part of the subconscious programming that I've been doing upon myself, you know, and that's essentially what this is all about. It's about you becoming, you know, the programmer of your own mind and letting and, and you know, stopping, putting up, you know, a firewall against that, the matrix the matrix program that's running rampant out there. And we need a firewall to protect ourselves, protect our awareness from the narratives of, um, of the mainstream media, because that is just pure poison for the mind. And um, yeah. And to become the stewards of our own, um, of our own mindset, of our own trajectory, of our own creation. So that's kind of like, yeah, that's kind of where we are here in this whole, you know, current state of the world and the current um, crisis. And um, this is a great awakening reset thing where I get to go sort of X-rated and, and really like unleash a whole bunch of information, a whole bunch of perspectives and really start to, you know, help to indoctrinate the hero within you to come out, to rise up, to step into 
its rightful place as you know as a, as a major force in your reality because um that's really what's required um on on a, on a huge level and um yeah and, and that's really like what this journey is all about it's all about discovering yourself and transforming yourself and learning and um you know and this is really like one of these depictions that i posted on instagram this is the the, the ripple of time and so let's i want to just like zoom in because it's really important to um have have um practice fluidity with your awareness in being able to expand your awareness and then to zoom into something really directly with um laser like focus so we're going to do that here so this is that crop circle we've just overlaid it with um some other fibonacci sort of patterns and what we can see here is that when we when i talk about this whole feedback loop i'm imagining that you are on your journey and you are here on the, uh, physically on the physical plane walking around on earth you are on this outer perimeter of the circle the quantum field is you are immersed in that it's all around you but essentially the quantum field is this inner world you can't really see it and touch it but you can experience it and sort of get a sense of it um and it's this inner world where energy and frequency and um you know and and voltage of your thoughts and feelings and actions really like combine and really get integrated into a a, a globe a, you know like a universal awareness a quantum awareness of of um of your particular perspective in time of your reality so this is that cause here that takes place whether it's a thought feeling or action or a combination of all of the three the more common combined it is the better the more coherent it is the, the clearer the signal and that signal then travels into the quantum field and it shoots off ripple effects look i mean look at this ripple effect that go on shooting off and this is arising you know in your immediate environment in your immediate timeline of of experience but it's also shooting you know as we go as that signal transitions into the center of the of this the circle of life it then returns and comes back to you so that completes a cycle completes a circuit closes a circuit of this feedback loop and you're actually this information you send in it gets inputted into the field and then the field once it's informed it then starts to output its wisdom upon you and upon your reality so that your four seasons that are underlaid here the four seasons of your life they are being updated instantaneously so that they are altering your timeline is altering as a result of this this cause that you've done here this x cause but it's also then greeting you in the external environment and like changing things around you you will find opportunities you will meet people you will experience this synchronicity and that's really like um that's this science that we don't know yet about and that's you know probably one of the journeys that we're going on is to figure out what that means and how to actually become a steward of that science of that cause and effect relationship so that's um you know so that's you know how we influence the field on a on a, on a whole lifetime sort of scale and how i visualize this process taking place because it's a visual tool, it's a mental tool to be able to help to navigate and steer the, the decisions and choices you're making in the moment and capturing yourself in the moment. That's when it's really important to be able to do that. So this moment here right now, we're about to close. We've got about a minute left. I really just want to like share with you the, you know, not, not only more about my story, but about the importance of the time we're in, about the importance of making these choices, about the importance of, um, of feeding forward into the field. How you going, brother? If you have any questions, let me know, but we don't really have much time left. It's just I'm really grateful that you're here, really grateful to be you know, sharing this information and uh, I'm, I'm so excited for the future and I hope to see you. In, in our in our community where we, we can go more x-rated more deeper and um, really begin that awakening reset process within visit quantumfeedback.org to learn more about 
the quantum feedback framework and how you can increase the frequency of your self-awareness.